Don't you think something's happening <laughs> with sexuality and what people are interested in these days? There's a massive shift. Yeah, a little more freedom. Free straight love. people aren't even straight anymore. Gay people aren't even gay anymore. <laughs> like something's going on. <laughs> We are so grateful to be joined right now by a duo who I think have completed the holy LGBTQIA plus trinity. They have competed in Eurovision. They have shared the same stage as Kylie and they have written and released the official World Pride theme song. We are with Electric Fields. Okay. Hello. Thank you for having Hello, us. Hello, Abby and Tyrone. How are you? It's bloody good. How are you? Well, yeah. Yeah, still well. deciding, still deciding. Well, I needed a whole day in bed yesterday to say that to you now, fresh faced and just like not scraping my um, self along the ground like a, a dog with worms. It's a, it's a bit like that. We've like, we well and truly launched ourselves into world pride. Like things are happening. But talk to us about the opening, opening ceremony. Thoughts, feels and emotions. I mean, kickstarting world pride in that way is just a massive feat. And I guess from that day to now, how are we feeling? Yeah, I mean, honestly, feeling really good. Look, Growing up as a queer person, and especially in Logan, Logan City in the 80s and 90s, um, in a Christian household, Christian school, Christian church, back then there was much less acceptance of queer folk. And they hadn't quite cl clicked over to love is love. And um, so... I was constantly taught that I was wrong and unnatural. And I had to go through decades with my my family before they too admitted and would accept that I'm natural and normal as myself. So to then be at the world, not just Australian pride, but world pride, mm. singing a song that we had written and to have my mother in the audience literally with bells on, i.e. she made her own jacket for the event. And to feel like a full circle of not just acceptance, but genuine celebration of, you know, we are an important ingredient in global society. So it was just such, no wonder I could jump so bloody high. Because <laughs> I felt that, I felt that, that good about it all. Um, and um, yeah, I'm extremely proud. Yeah. And speaking of that opening ceremony, I wonder for you if it felt like a bit of a full circle moment because I read that you uh, performed for Kylie and Danny as part of your X Factor <laughs> experience. Yes. And now right. you're sharing the stage with Kylie. <laughs> and, does, Danny. And, da oh, and Danny. Oh, and Danny. Uh -huh. How does that feel? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of wanted to, um, I kind of wanted both Kylie and Danny to come up to me and say, oh, Michael, congratulations. <laughs> you know, 10 years ago in New York when you sang one song for us <laughs> and 10 years later we've been waiting and you've finally done it. But instead what happened <laughs> was I sidled up next to Kylie at the dress rehearsal the day before and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Um, but I don't know if you remember me from like 10 years ago, <laughs> like one afternoon. Um, she didn't. However, she was extremely gracious. And um, I just, I gave myself the speech I would hope, I was hoping she would give. But it was actually really nice because because I was able to tell her that we have turned, um, well, we're, we're living our truth and we're doing it in a creative way that, not only pays our mobile phone bills, but also allows us to tell the stories in our hearts and give Australia and the world a model of how to um, live in harmony uh, if you're from different backgrounds. Mm. This is how respect looks and this is how um, love sounds. Yeah. And Zachariah, you sing um, a lot of the time in language as well, which is which makes it that much more special. But for people coming from different parts of the world to experience what it's like here in this country, 
what does that mean to to be able to stand on the stage and to be able to showcase not only electric fields but you know from where you come from and APY lands mm. so yeah the language I sing in is in Yankundara and it does give you the not I don't look at it as pressure anymore it's just a part of my personality or my mm. who I am as a person and I've got the opportunity to use that in the medium and music and to play with the English language as well and kind of remind the English language you're not the only language that exists. Like, <laughs> period. Yang <laughs> is one of the <laughs> oldest languages on this in this continent mm. and it um, is older than our government as well, which I really, really like. And we have a cultural way of looking at things as well. So it's talking about the model. I get to have that present wherever I go, whether it's in music or visual arts or just dialoguing with people, just to let people know that there is other models that are there and that do work on a, on a human basis, on a communicating basis as well. Mm. But it's nice to showcase that to the world. I'm not one of those people that do it for that reason though. Like it's more of, it's just, if you booked me, don't book me just because of that. Like just take the art. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, I'm glad that it's out there and it just is a nice reminder for our country as well that there is language and it's living and it's there's models and it's living. Go and introduce yourself to it a little bit. Learn a little bit more about it. You can't just identify that it's there. You have to sit with it so you can kind of give it that respect that it needs. Or not even respect, just know that it's there. We have an actual relationship with land and jurubbles and birds. It's just, they're cousins to us. But Western world teaches you that it's a supernatural thing. It's not normal to talk to birds. We sing for birds. We, we mimic them. They brother for us. Mm. But there's a whole lot of other stuff that this country needs to go and figure out on their own. Do you know what I mean? Mm -mm. Whenever the moment comes. It's what's so good about this whole thing. There's patience there. There's time. Mm. And talk to us about that relationship between, you know, Zachariah. It's terrible. You need to let me out. Help and me. <laughs> let me out. Get me out. Blink he does twice. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> about our a, relationship. Yeah, let's yeah. talk. Yeah. Let's talk about this. The I guess the the foundations of electric fields and the, the relationship between 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 you know, you Michael okay, and, and Zachariah. <laughs> <laughs> but could I just say, like honestly, this what we do. Um, I won't say it happened by accident but it was completely unforced. It was something we discovered rather than something we, we wrote a recipe for. Mm. And we just woke up inside of it. Z put it really well early on that we're just the parents of an energy. And when we work together, we're working in truth because we, we're art first. So we, we might not follow your genre. We might not follow your trend of the moment, because we're too busy with actual truth. So we're gonna find the best way to tell the story that we're feeling. Whatever genre that is, we're gonna find that. That's why we're working with symphony orchestras. That's why we're doing electronic song with, um, you know, using samples you haven't heard for a while or whatever it is, because we're gonna be that honest and that blunt and, and then just true. If you can hear it, then you hear it as opposed to like, oh, we're a genre. But my point is we're art first and for that it's truth beautified for us. So we're telling stories and we're telling, uh, weaving our souls together in a way you can hear and we do it in a way that you can feel. And speaking of... Period. Speaking of that togetherness but to also move in a completely different direction, we are coming to this conversation post Mardi Gras, which... A lot of people have a lot of different feelings about, but it was your first time. Was it your first time as well, Zachary, like being in the, the parade itself? Yeah. Yeah. How was that experience and how did that differ from, from years past? And we can... We can it was... But I did <laughs> such a funny question because it was strange. Yeah. And 
and um, surreal and yet enjoyable. That's my perspective. But what do you yeah, think? Yeah, it was a moment. You had the moment. It was a moment. It was a moment. It was, yeah. You were there. It was it was nice to feel the magnitude of it all, like energy wise. Yeah. Like the frequency was going crazy. And I think that's rightfully so. Like you can do that. And it's just amazing to feel what thousands and thousands of people can do when they all come together. It, not only were we celebrating something, there was something happening in the atmosphere as well. It was large. And I think mm. I'm still trying to get off of that because it was it is overwhelming that um, you can get energy moving like that and meaning what that energy is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. For what it was standing for. There was a lot mm. of, it was joy and sorrow. People were celebrating the death of you know, our people from this community and the celebration of it and where it's going and what it's done and the achievements and the, you know, disappointment of it all. Like, it, it, everything was there. Yeah. And you can't quite articulate it. I don't think, mm. I just call it a moment because it's not just one thing, it's no. multiple things. Yeah. That's sign language for pansexual. Sorry. Oh, it's is like, it? Oh, word. Um, oh, okay. But it's like, it's everything. Yeah. Come on, trans It was last everything. Um, it's a beautiful way to put it, yeah. Mm. I, think for, I think a lot of people would be wanting to find the word or the words. And I think yeah. that... And I think it will come later. Well, I don't sign. know it because I'm still coming off of the ride and, it's yeah. and it hasn't stopped yet. So... Still on that I float. think it's more of a thing... <laughs> it's more of a one-month... Yes. Uh, you, it, you, it will make sense to you after one month. It's like when we do any show, I mm. can't quite get it. I'm sure Eurovision would have been similar as well. That With the magnitude as well would have been next level. Well, that was the first time you, we you're ever like, performed. It's just another, just another gig. <laughs> just another show. <laughs> no, but it wasn't just another show because we, Z and I had performed on television individually, but we'd never performed on television as Electric Fields. And so it was almost like we were taking our baby out to the the, stra the masses in a way that we had never done before. So there was a kind of, there was a newness for that. And also that a song that we had written together and a song, and in fact, I will tell you, we wrote our songs at this disability arts organization where I used to work. And I had a, stu a, a recording studio there. And while we were writing our songs, and we started to write songs incorporating young Kunjata language, and we were, we'd always jump up and down when we'd create something that we loved, and we were, and, and I said to Z, or either vice versa, said one day, like, wait, can you imagine if we go to a nightclub one day, and there are people dancing in a regular nightclub to young Kunjata language in this dance track or whatever, and we were like. Could that really happen? Could, what is that possible? And then, so fast forward a few years to we're on the Australia Decides stage for Eurovision, and this moment in the Kulila Miranyi moment, where the audience was singing along so loudly that we could hear, and we just looked at each other and we're like, "Oh, it just happened! Mm. It actually just happened!" So it was actually a, well, fuck! If we can make that happen, what else can we do? And you, you know, you can actually manifest uh, things that you haven't seen before, or you can manifest your biggest dreams, not just, uh, oh, I think that's possible. No, no, well, what's, what's greater than that? Like, mm. what's the gold medal path, not the bronze medal path? And go for that because you don't have to get it, but you might. And if you do, it's like magic. I, I read somewhere, uh, something somewhere that said, it's not an electric field song if in the studio you don't leave without both of you dancing to the song. Oh, yeah. What? I mean, that's one part of the recipe. I'm, I'm guessing another part would just be like, I guess, just feeling the energy of the song and like being able to um, feel that it's right. Yeah. Are there any other um, parts to the recipe to an electric field Essential song? Essential ingredients. Essential yeah. ingredient, ingredients. Well, if it hasn't been finished yet, Z will normally yell at me. So I know when he stopped yelling, <laughs> that's when it's done. No. Mm -hmm. No, it's just a feel. It's just a, literally just a feeling, a shift. You can feel, you can just, mm. yeah. it says, I want to be this, I want to be this melody. I want to sound like that. Yeah. The baby does talk, you know. Yeah. We are the parents, <laughs> but like they do. Yeah. 
and talk. and it it'll um, engage the body and it'll engage literally the heart. I know that sounds a little sort of um, saccharine, but mm. oh like oh oh my up. eyes like when we did yeah. Gigi Lullaby. We knew that it was right because I was starting to cry. I'm yeah. like, okay, we got it, we got it. We got tears, so we're ready to go. You know, or, you know, but that moment where you kind of, oh, and there's a sinking, a really beautiful, warm heaviness to emotion that you can actually create with melody and harmony. And what draws it out even quicker is what's happening in the outside world. Like what is operating out there that wants to come and see that feeling. Because the world is so hurt, outside is so hurt. Something out in from internal is wanting to meet external, and then they do eventually meet when our babies are pushed out or cesareaned out, <laughs> or farted out, cesareaned out, or spat out. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, oh. <laughs> next year's song, Electric Feels, spit out, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Track. Yeah. spit it out, ah. yeah, yeah. Oh, brand new Electric Feels track, yeah, cesareaned yeah. out. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, look, I mean, we're here because World Pride, it's it's just one big party. We're having a little, you know, deep and meaningful in the in the basement of said party happening outside these walls. At at an event, at a function, at a party, who are both of you? Are you the planner? Are you the dance floor starter? Are you the chef? Who who are both of you? Or I'm the one that together? goes, what's your star sign? Can yeah! I hang out with you? Like, are you good to, are you, what is that? Are you a Saggy? Okay, well, you can hang out with me. I'm not going to say what star sign I dislike. But so yeah. oh. Please spill. Yeah. Well, I don't get along with them ones. Oh, which one? I can't say. I can't oh, no, 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 no. I reckon all the star signs are deadly. <laughs> yeah, they, they're, that's they're... another one hand sign for deadly. Nah, I'm one. Of, I'm that drinker. Are, are yes. we talking about drinking? The, the party person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Party, I'm that yeah, one. I asked. Wait, wait, who drink. were you? T- I, I mean, I'm at the bar, <laughs> uh, but then I'm also on the dance floor, and then. I'm sorry, um, health conscious people, but I'm also in the smoking area, um, chuffing on a little bit of nicotine. That's where these DMs happen most regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. The smokers That's area. That's good content. Yeah. yeah, but I really love when that <laughs> song content. comes on. And you're, and it's like you know, it's like your song. And it's like right it's in your bones the, straight away. It's that moment being like, <sighs> yeah, it's like it's like, and it's like move out the way. It's Rocker Stedford, like yeah, and fly away, away on ground. Ah! <laughs> what song is that for you though? But Z, you'll find Z. Z, I've seen Z on the dance, almost doing the splits, like <laughs> like literally like twerking this athletic bottom mm-hmm. here. That's, that's that Z works tapes. very hard on, and believe yeah. me, you get the rewards <laughs> for it. <laughs> Prizes. The rock hole gets the sample. How is Tate? She deadly. <laughs> Zipora. Oh my god. Inside joke. Proper dog one. God, I can't. But yeah, Tate's good. Tate. Uh, <laughs> married up, but no, that that, yeah. sh- that shit don't matter anymore now. Everyone's just doing everyone. <laughs> it's not funny. Polly Amory is the new Amy. Don't you think something's happening <laughs> with sexuality and what people are interested in these days? Like yeah. relationships are just doing. S- there's a massive shift. Yeah. Yeah, a little more freedom. Free straight love. people aren't even straight anymore. Gay people aren't even gay anymore. <laughs> yeah. like, like, there's all the things, things about um, people don't like to be labelled as well. I think I feel like there's mm. just like... I think it's post-COVID people are like, who cares? Like, who cares? I almost died. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. But it might be part of the gender revolution as well yeah. because yeah, we, true. the young people and not just the young people, but they are really um, doing a revolution of... Not the non the in between the two the two polars of male and female, and so if 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 most people are probably not really one or the other, so then where does gay and straight start to work when this person's not actually a he or a she anyway, and so all of a sudden it starts to be human love instead, and you fuck each other's souls instead of the holes. Ah! <laughs> That's the tagline. <laughs> there it is. Look, oh, I mean, speaking of party, we've got to get back up there. We've got to go. Yeah. We've Beautiful got to go. Electric Fields, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank you.